okay so let me show that if uh, g is a simple graph which is not connected then g complement is connected so let me consider let g be a simple graph and not connected graph also so i want to show that g complement is connected to show that g complement is connected it is enough to show that between any two pair of vertices of g complement there exists a path okay that's my claim so let me consider two vertices u and v of g complement remember u and v are the vertices of g complements the g complement means they are also the vertices of g so there are two cases since g is connected so g has uh, more than one component right it cannot have a single component okay so one case is either these two vertices belongs to uh, one component of g that is the one case the other case is these two vertices belongs to different components of g okay so if uh, u and v belongs to different components of g so let me say that uh, u belongs to a component uh, c1 v belongs to a component c2 then so the component of c1 right so here uh, uh, u belongs to the component c1 and v belongs to the component c2 so in this component c1 i can see the vertices which are adjacent to u right so in this component c2 i can see the set of vertices which are adjacent to v always remember an vertex of one component is cannot adjacent to a vertex a, a vertex in the other component right here uh u belongs to component c1 and v belongs to component c2 then obviously u and v cannot be adjacent to each other so they are non adjacent in g okay and hence u and v are adjacent in g complement okay so in that manner we are uh, defining the complement right so if u and v are no, uh, not adjacent in g they are adjacent in g complement right so thus u and v are connected in g complement so u and v are adjacent in g g complement means uh, you, there is a path between u and v okay so once there is a path between u and v i can say that u and v are connected in g complement so since u and v are arbitrary we arbitrarily chosen those two vertices i can say that every vertices every pair of vertices of g are connected connected by a path so hence g complement is connected so let me look into the second case so suppose that u and v both belongs to the same component of g so look here this is the case 1 right so in uh, case 2 in case 2 so here u and v both belongs to the same component of g that means so the what is is u and v belongs to the same component c1 okay so what is the component c1 so u and v both are in c1 means i can say this c1 component is consisting of a set of vertices which are adjacent to u adjacent to u as well as v and once once and any two vertices of a component is definitely uh, adjacent okay so here u and v belongs to c1 means definitely u and v are adjacent to each other okay fine so here suppose that u and v belongs to the same component g then i can say that uh, between u and v there is a path right so let me take a vertex w of g which is not belongs to this component so outside this component i am choosing one vertex w okay so that means this vertex belongs to the other component let it be some c2 okay then i can say that u and w and v and w are not edges of g definitely so u and v belongs to one component w belongs to other component definitely the line start with u end with w so which is a line which is an edge which is 
not possible because they are belongs to different components and different and clearly v is not adjacent to w okay so then u and v and uh, v, the, the edge v w are not edges of g so once they are not edges of g in complement they are the edges of g okay that means u w and edge u and u w and v w are the edges of g complement so once we have this is u this is uh, v and this is w so uh, i'm talking about a uh, g complement here right so here uh, there is an edge from u to v so u to w and uh, uh, v to w is also an edge of g complement so therefore i can say that this 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 is a path from u to v the starting point is u and the ending point is v the terminus is v so i can say that u w v is a uv path in g complement so thus i can say that there exists a path between u and v so therefore u and v are connected they are connected by a path so they are connected in g complement so since u and v are arbitrarily chosen every pair of vertices of g complement are connected therefore g complement is connected thank you